Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of this Level Hope microscope. So it comes in a nice hard carrying case and inside everything you see is here. So you have the microscope itself, you have power supply for it, which run over there. I plug it in already. And then it comes with uh, some uh, sample here for some of the egg like shrimp, uh, you know, sea salt. You got stuff like uh, yeast. So these are some of the live stuff that you can hatch and then uh, see it under a microscope. Uh, you have here a box of different uh, uh, slides and then it also has empty glass slide that you can put your stuff on. You have his microtome that's designed to scrape up, you know, live organic material so on the, and put it on the slide. So that's an item. And then you got a pair of tweezers, a little water droplet. And then uh, you have the user menu along with the little instruction menu here. And in this thing, it gives you a lot of information. So it's uh, definitely an educational uh, product. So I guess this is geared toward children and uh, anyone who really wanted to learn about microscope. It's definitely not a scientific grade by no means. It's pretty well built, but I'll show you guys that in a minute here. I uh, also have here the phone adapter. This is an accessory that you have to buy extra. And the phone accessory also have a little user menu here. So here's the unit as you can see. So you have the eyepiece up here with a barrel. Uh, here you can see it's a 16x barrel. So here you have three adjustment. Uh, this is 4x and then we can rotate it this way. Uh, 40x and then again uh, this is 10x. And then uh, we have two light. One is to shine upon this uh, little slice and that light is up front there. And I can adjust that light using this little knob on the uh, left side here so I can turn it up and all the way down and even off if I wanted to. So at the bottom here we have another light that is illuminating to use a little hole to that slide right now and we can also adjust that light is up and down as you can see now. So this is used to light up the slide here and then you can see the stuff right through the slides right here. Got a little clip to keep everything in place so they give you a few of these slides that have stuff already put on it and you can also add uh, some more because they give you more slides and then over here you have the knob that adjusts the focus so when you are using a 40x I found that in order to get focus you pretty much have to have just a little lens here touching the guys pretty much so definitely you want something in a very flat surface so it's pretty interesting using this device to look at various different things so, you know from your fingernail or just dirt or you know one of these film it's pretty cool I always wanted a microscope uh, at school and I remember using a very nice you know lab quality uh, microscope so this is not going to be as good as that but for home and educational purpose I think this is pretty good uh, it is made out of plastic with a lot of metal part in here in the middle so one more thing I do want to point out is just adjustment here you can actually adjust how big the size of the uh, light holes using this little knob right here. So here's the lens adapter. You pretty much mount it by clipping into this eyepiece right here. So it's now in place. Uh, you can tighten it by using this knob up here. And then you uh, basically release the uh, clamp here so you can put your phone in there. So you want to put your camera phone, uh, your little lens right here, right there. So you, after you place it in here, you have to rotate this so that it line up right into there. So here's pretty much what it looks like. I have the camera lined up to the eyepiece. And then you can see that's pretty much what you get, just small view. So definitely you do need to digitally zoom in a little bit. If your camera has digitally or optical, it doesn't matter. But you definitely need to zoom in just a little bit and just like this. And you can see and you can make adjustment on the focus knob here. And to get it in focus just like that. And then your camera can focus by tapping on it. So this is the slice here of the onion, as you can see. I'll give you an idea and of course you can take the picture or whatever with your camera. You're not going to get a full view because of that small eyepiece. Uh, so I do wish that uh, they have a you know, little bit bigger eyepiece. That would be nice for the camera. They also make a camera adapter that actually have a built-in digital camera. I have not reviewed that yet but uh, just seem to be pretty okay. Uh, you can get some pretty cool nicks pictures. And here we have that little housefly leg as you can see. Pretty gross. But that's the kind of detail you can get. This I believe is on the 10X. So that little slice right now, horse fly, and here we can see it's 10x. So here we go again, the house fly, and this is a 4x. There we go. That's pretty nice looking, as you can see. So I'm saying 4x here, but actually, you know, through the different modification, it come all up to a lot more than that. I think this is probably at about 300x or something like that. You can go from 64x all the way to 1280x. So that's a kind of different uh, zoom level you can have. So it's not bad at all. I have um, I noticed that the scientific telescope that I used before in school went up all the way to 3000. So that kind of give you an idea. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see this is kind of the result you can get. Uh, that's only 4x. So that's pretty much conclude my quick review of this level Hulk telescope along with the phone adapter. Just want to show you guys and kind of give you guys an idea of how well this uh, device work and uh, how fun it is. Even as an adult, I'm still amazed and fascinated by these uh, little small things that are under the microscope. So it's pretty cool. If you guys found this video helpful. 
helpful please give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more future review thank you